What's up guys, we're back here in Ark World and let's talk about the bots. And so it does look like that they have cleaned up most of the bots. So we are at the end of Hassa. This is, you know, where the bots sit and stand. And normally there's just, you know, 50 bots sitting right here. Sometimes even a little bit more. And then also sometimes some bots just sitting like right here. But you can see the, uh, I call it the bot parade is no longer in session. There's like no bots there. And then you normally would see a stream of bots just coming one by one by one coming on this road. And they're gone. Yeah, you know, you don't see bots. So this is a couple days after the server now. The bots did come back. The other place that the bots would be would be over here at the respawn. Right? If you killed all the bots that were sitting and clumped together here, then they all just sit over here at the respawn and wait. And you can see there's a few. There's a couple of a uh, couple people, you know, but this is nothing. This is two bots, maybe one bot, you know, one bot over here. So the bots have significantly decreased. Now let's talk about something else though. People are now talking and discussing the bots are evolving, the bots are changing, the bots are now buying land and renting land and making labor potions and selling the labor potions. So if we take a look at the labor potion market, we'll notice that the labor potion prices are way down, right? So they're down to 4.5 BSLT per labor potion. This is not shocking though. If you remember before the event, before the Lucky Coinverse event, the labor potion price was right around that five BSLT and it was trending downward. It had been going down every single day for a while. Well, once the event ended, the labor potion price went right back down to like that five BSLT pretty much instantaneously. It was like sudden drop down because no one needed labor anymore, right? Well, I mean, you do need labor, but not as much as was needed for that event. So the labor price went down to five and then now it's slowly creeping down further and further. And this is in part due to the fact that there is now more homeowners in the world which are producing labor. So the bots that are renting the houses and producing labor, you should actually kind of be welcoming it though, because they're in part the reason why the BSLT price is going up. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to hope and pray that Excel Games actually does what they're supposed to and ban the bots. So for example, say this guy is a bot right here. You know, sorry, dude, that you're you know you're getting singled out as a bot here. But say this guy is a bot and he is a uh, you know a cheater. So in order for him to rent this land, he had to actually pay 135 BSLT to rent the land, and then he had to deposit 150 BSLT for the tent. So his total investment is 285 BSLT. That's a lot of BSLT for a bot that could potentially just get banned instantaneously and lose all that. So if, if the bot gets banned, the bot's not gonna have access to his BSLT that got staked. He loses all of the BSLT that was used for rent, the 135, the 150 for the tent. So he loses 285 BSLT. So the bots are now getting desperate, it seems like, in my opinion, right? The bots can no longer make easy, easy money or they're getting destroyed Target by doing green storyline quests. And so now they are attempting to go into the land market and trying to make money that way. But again, they're investing 285 BSLT. So if XL Games can ban and destroy these accounts within you know, a month, maybe less than that, like, I don't know where the break even point is on this, right? So 285, uh, let's do some math here. At labor potion, we'll say four. So at labor potion four, you times it by 30, that's 120. And then you got Archeum, which the thing is, people are saying that the bots aren't even making Archeum, which is a mistake. Like if you have a house, you make Archeum and you make labor. Like Archeum is more valuable than the labor, even though you only get a smaller quantity to sell. It just works out better. Like, you know, the math, do the math guys. Uh, so then we'll say you get five of these 5,000 bundles. 
and they are, we'll say 20 BSLT. So that's 100 BSLT. So you get 100 from the Archeum, and then you get 120 from the Labor Potion. So you're at 220. So the bots need to survive for at least two months to make it profitable farming the land. So if XL Games can destroy the bot land investors before two months have passed, then the bots are losing money, which is great. And then that BSLT price is pumping. And so we're seeing that, I think, a little bit yesterday. We saw BSLT go from you know, 38 cents, 39 cents, up to 40, 41, 43, and even as high as 45 cents yesterday because of the ARC Pass, which cost 1,000 BSLT to stake. And then also because houses are filling up. Like, almost every zone is filled. And whether it's bots or real players, People are now staking more BSLT. They're buying more tents. You'll notice that there's very few uh, buildings. And here comes the bots. Oh. Did the bot just get destroyed right there? Is that what's going on? Do you see that? So the bot disappeared right at that point. So this, I wonder if this is some kind of uh, game protection that is just instantly banning the bots as soon as they get there. That would be pretty cool. Because obviously, Excel Games is trying to do something automated, right? Did they go over here? I mean, there's physics involved. I mean, they are stacked up on top of each other. Yep, there's a whole bunch. So I wonder, because it looked like they instantly died in this spot right here. Let's keep an eye on this spot to see if the next bot comes through. And see if it happens again. My guess it is it is gonna happen again. It was like right here with the botcha went poof. And it looked like they teleported to the respawn location. So unfortunately it doesn't look like they're directly banning them right that second, but they've figured out a way to maybe instantly kill the bots. And again, obviously they're trying to find an automatic way to destroy these bots and kill them and prevent them from you know, ruining the economy. Because manually, they, they don't want to have someone here 24 seven manually destroying all these bots. Because, so someone working 24 seven would cost the company a lot more money than having an automatic system. Because not only do you need one person, you're gonna need probably three people that are working eight hour shifts to sit here and kill the bots, right? Eventually, the hope is that the bots realize that it's not profitable, it's not worth the time, not worth the effort, not worth the energy to, to do this, and they go away. So that is the, the end game here is, it's a war of attrition, whether the bots can just overflow and overtake the game, or if XL Games can destroy bots efficiently enough to make it so the bots just give up. Bots will always be here, though. There are always going to be people that are going to be cheating, whether it's, uh, you know, slight, small little cheats and things like that, or it's super broken cheats. So here's another one coming up. So they're always going to be here. There's another one coming up, too. But getting rid of most of them, that, that is the, the key, getting rid of the majority of them. Yep, see, instantly it is disappearing right there. And my guess is he's dying somehow. And they're putting them at the respawn location. Very interesting. So there's something going on. 
something that Excel Games has done to instantly disrupt, like, kind of this botting script. I wonder if there's different um, locations where they've done the same thing as well. Because if they have the ability to make like this like a hot spot and be like check something and be like, hey, if you're only level 31, you're gonna end in, in, like you know die right here instantly. I wonder if they have the ability to do that in other locations as well, which probably they do. Uh, so they're probably disrupting the entire bot flow. And then obviously they do ban these guys, so they do ban them, you know, eventually. And that's what we talked about with the land bots. Eventually they will get banned, right? So if they get banned within two months, then they lose money. These ones, these ones cost them no money besides the energy and the power sources that are used to, you know, produce and run the bots and run the programs. So it's not very cost, uh, cost heavy. But yeah, very, very interesting, guys. Let me know if you're seeing this in other, uh, other zones as well. If you're seeing like, you know, instant death bot spot, like this area right here. Very, very cool. Uh, love to hear for your their thoughts on this, on the bots and the situation. Um, but I am, uh, yeah, you know, I see progress. I see progress being made, and that's all that you can really ask for. Hopefully, we get rid of all of, you know, the bots and the programs and stuff, and then we can have a fair, you know, game, and everyone can just play in an even, clean slates with the same rules, everything, uh, you know, just being fair. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.